in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful hexagon shaped grannies they are also called the African flower and they are absolutely beautiful you can make them with so many different combinations of colors I mean sky's the limits when it comes to the color combinations you can come up with for each African flower you will need four colors um, the center I used green and then I have pink and this one here is um, called flamingo it's a red heart yarn and it's it's like a coral color it's very pretty and then this is a green it's like spring green I believe they called it and the other color I'm using is teal and it's so pretty um, I think these colors really look nice together they have a beautiful contrast okay so to make the African flower hexagon shaped granny I'm going to use a size H or 8 5 millimeter crochet hook to make our African flower today. So I want to show you something here. Um, these two were made with the same size crochet hook, but if you look at it, you can see that this one is so the difference. Instead of doing chain one spaces, these all have chain two spaces. So that is the only difference. So it's just a matter of preference, whatever one you like. If you like the larger holes, then you would do a chain two for all the spaces. If you like this one where the holes are smaller, um, then you would just do a chain one. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a chain one for every space that we need in this African flower. And I'll show you how to make it, and I'll let you know when you do that. And I'll mention this again so you know that every time we do a chain one, we do a chain two for this one. So it's just a matter of preference. And I just wanted to show you the two variations so that way, you know, everyone has a preference. Some people like it with the larger holes and some want it with the smaller. So I just wanted to show you both options because, you know, everyone has their um, favorite. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered both. So today I'm just going to go ahead with this. And this is how I did these other ones that I have here. These were all done the same way as this. And I have this one here today because I just wanted to show you the difference if you wanted to do the spaces with a chain two instead of a chain one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set aside our pretty little um, petals here, or African flowers. And I'll set them off to the side here so we can see them as we crochet along. Okay. So another thing I wanted to show you is how I like to organize my basket when I'm working with different colors. So I have this plastic basket that I have that happens to have holes all on the side, which is just perfect. And then I have this little basket. This is the same one I use when I use um, crochet with tool. I put my spool in here and it just unwinds as I go. Well, I have more of these, of course, because this fits right into that basket. Perfect to put all of my crochet tools that I need to do my project. So I'll have my crochet hooks in there, my scissors, my little stitch markers, and of course my little crochet needle. And then I can put all my, then I just set this aside, and then I can put all my yarn balls in here that I'm going to work with in this project. So what I like to do is I'm going to start off with green. So what I do is I feed that through the hole. See how nice that is? And it makes it so easy and my yarn doesn't fall on the floor so we're going to be working with the green today pink so I'm going to put that through and we're going to work with the spring green so I'm going to feed that through one of the holes on the side and the tail color so you can see that I have all of the tails ready to go it just keeps it out of the way and nice and neat it keeps it from rolling on the floor as I work along so let's go ahead and begin. So we want to begin with the center with the dark green. So I'm going to start off with my size H or 8 5 millimeter crochet hook. So to begin, we're going to go ahead and do a slip knot. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three. Four. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch to form a ring for the center. 
Okay. So now you can see that it has six sections here. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then do a double crochet right back into that center circle there, to that ring. Okay, and we, we're going to chain one. Okay, then we're going to do two double crochets. And then we're going to do a second double crochet. So there's the two double crochets, and then we're going to chain one. Now, if we were doing the larger one, then we would chain two here instead of chaining one, but we're working with the smaller one, so we're doing a chain one between the double crochets right here. So we do chain three, a double crochet, chain one. If we want this one, you chain two. And then two double crochets. And then chain one. If you want a larger one, you chain two. So that's all you need to remember. Anytime, if you want the small one, anytime we do a chain, we do chain one. Anytime we chain one, if you want the larger one, just chain two. That's the only difference. Real simple. All right, so now that I chained one, I'm going to do two double crochets. And then chain one. And then we're going to do two double crochets again. Chain one. So what we're looking for is we want to have six sets of two. So that's two, because we're counting, count the chain three as a double crochet. So we want two double crochets, two double crochets, and a chain one in between. So we should have six sets of double crochets. And then right now we have one, two, three, four. So we need to do that two more times. Okay, so two double crochets. chain one and then you can see we only have five sets of two. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to do the ch double crochet two times. Okay, so that's two double crochets and then chain one. So we want to make sure we have six sets of two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sets of two double crochets and then there's a space in between them. So now that we did chain one, we're going to do a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And then you should have six holes in between the double crochets. One, two, four, five, six. Perfect. So we are now done with this first round. So at this point, we're going to be changing colors. And we're not going to need the green again, so we're going to go ahead and cut this. I'm just going to go ahead and wind that up because I'm done for now. And then go ahead and do a yarn over and pull that tail right through and now we want to begin with the pink so I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot okay and what you want to do is you want to take that slip knot and just insert it into any of those chain one spaces between the two double crochets so I'm going to start here I'm going to insert my hook into that space. I'm going to yarn over and pull that through. And then pull it through this loop. That was the slip knot. I'll go ahead and tighten that down. And then you want to chain three. So one, two, three. And that will count as your first double crochet. So you can see here that you have two double crochets right here. So that chain three counts as one, so we do one more double crochet and then we're going to chain one and then two more double crochets right into that same hole or space so right there we have four double crochets with the chain one in between okay now we're not going to chain anything here we're going to be moving over to the next space chain one space. So go ahead and double crochet into that chain one space. Do a second double crochet. 
and then chain one. And then do two more double crochets into that same space. Okay. And then we're moving over to the next chain one space so we do not do a chain stitch here. We just go right into that, the double, two double crochets. And then chain one and then do two double crochets. So let me just stop here and we'll recap what we're doing here. So in each one of these chain one spaces, we are doing two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then we move over to the next one without a chain stitch at all. We just go right into it with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then go right into this one with two double crochets, a chain one, two double crochets. And we're gonna do that all the way around. So we find the next chain space here and do two double crochets, chain one, and then two more double crochets into that same space. There you go. So let's do that again. Into the next chain one space, do two double crochets. There's our second double crochet. And then chain one. And then two double crochets into that same space. Okay, you can see we have one more chain, one space in between here. So we're going to work our sixth section here. So there's six sections in each one. One, two, three, four, five. And that will be six. Because you have six petals. All right, so do two double crochets. And then chain one, and then two more double crochets into that same space. Okay, so now we are. This is that chain three. So you're going to do a slip stitch into that top of that chain three that counted as the first double crochet when we began the round. So just join with a slip stitch. Now we are going to use the pink for the next round. So we don't want to cut off the yarn just yet. Because now we're going to do this part of the petal of each flower. So we need to get over to that chain one space that's in between the four double crochets here in that section. So we're going to do a slip stitch over so to that space. So do a slip stitch into that double crochet and then slip stitch into that chain one space and then chain three. One, two, three. Okay, so for each one of the petals, there are seven double crochets here. So the chain one will count as our first double crochet here. So we are going to do six more, plus this chain three will give us seven. So we'll count that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we want to have seven double crochets, counting the chain three as one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So now we are going to work right into that next chain one space. See right here in between, that doesn't count. So where these two double crochets from the previous round, that space right above that section, you don't work into that one. You work right into this part here, where there's the four pink double crochets. So you go right into that with a double crochet, and then you're going to do seven total. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. Okay, so now you're going to work right into that next chain one space right here. That's right in between these four double crochets. So we're going to go in with that double crochet seven times. That's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. All right, so we make sure I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to work in the next chain one space and do seven crochets in each one. We're going to do that all the way around. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let me make sure I have seven. All right, so then we're going to work right into that chain one space right there. So we're just going to skip right over that because that doesn't count. Right here above that green section. We don't work into that space. We go right into this one. So seven double crochets. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and seven. Okay. So we just have one more chain one space here because we have one, two, three, four, five. So there's just one more section to work right here with the pink. So you're going to do seven double crochets into the center of those four double crochets. That's that chain one space again. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let me just double check here. Oh, my nail's getting caught. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So now. I'm going to do a slip stitch to the top of that chain three. And there you have, we have completed the third round and we've finished with the pink now. So we're ready to move on to this light spring green color right here. So let me go ahead and cut the pink yarn off here. We'll fasten off with the pink. Okay, so I'm going to pull that do a yarn over and pull that right through until that tail ends. All right, so now we're ready to begin the green. I'll wind up my pink ball because I'm done with that. Get the green here. All right, so we're gonna do a slip knot here. Okay, so I'm going to begin in that top chain three space right there, and I'm going to insert my hook, do a yarn over, pull that through, pull that through the loop that was the slip knot to attach, and then I'm just going to pull those bolts to make sure it's tight and not loose. We're not going to chain one here at all. We're just actually going to go right back into that space and work a single crochet. Okay, so that's one single crochet. Two. You should have seven single crochets on top of each one of those double crochets we did. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven single crochets because we had seven double crochets in the previous round so we do the single crochets in each one of those now this spot right here right above the see the previous round they had the two double crochets with the green in this one we just moved right over we didn't there's not there's not a chain one space or anything so we're actually just going to reach down instead of here we're going to reach down to the previous row and start our hook yarn over pull up a loop and bring it up a little bit so you can you know bring it to about the same level as this single crochet 
yarn over and do the single crochet. So you can see that that brought both rows together. And it it's kind of an elongated single crochet, if you will. It, it So we go through both row, rounds, the previous round and the current round. All right, so now we're going to work our way around the top of this petal with seven single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we're back here again. We're going to go ahead and sort of hook down to the previous row. Yarn over, pull that up, and do a single crochet. So there's our elongated stitch working through both rounds. Okay, and then our single crochets on the top of each double crochet here. So we should have seven of them. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to work both rounds together. So we're inserting our hook now here, down to the previous round, and then insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, kind of stretch it up to meet that um, the level of that one, yarn over, and do a single crochet. So you see how that pulls it down together and really forms those petals and gives it, it really outlines and highlights those petals. So now you really can kind of see how pretty that is. Alright, now we're going to do our seven single crochets now. Two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to do that elongated single crochet now. Then our seven single crochets. Okay, and now we're going to be inserting hook down, not the previous, not the current round. But we're going to insert it down to the previous round as well. Yarn over, pull up that loop, stretch it a little bit. Yarn over and do your single crochet. So there's that elongated stitch. See how it really makes those petals pop? Really makes them pop out. Really pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the seven single crochets. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. All right. So we just have that one more long stitch to do to work the two rounds together. So go ahead and start your hook down. Yarn over. Pull that up. Stretch it up a little bit to make it a little bit longer and elongate it. Yarn over and complete your single crochet. That yarn's getting in the way. All right, so now you just do a slip stitch to that first single crochet that we did. And there we have completed our round. So now we're going to do our final round with the tail, which is a nice border here. When you make these, you want to have the borders all be the same color, so that way when you connect them, it really looks nice. I mean, if you want to do them different colors, you can. But um, um, most often, I think they look really nice if you have all matching borders. So that's what I'm doing here, anyways, on this particular project. So now, the border is going to have this pretty tail color. So let me show you that. I'm going to first cut off the green yarn here. Let me wind that one up because I'm done with that one. All right, so let's go ahead and do a yarn over. Pull that tail all the way through to fasten off. Now we're ready to begin with the tail colored yarn to 
um, do our last round. So we're going to do a slip knot again. Okay, so I have my slip knot on my hook. So now what we want to do is you want to start off pretty much any way you want, but I recommend that you do start off with see where the elongated stitches are? The very next single crochet is a good spot to start. Okay, so go ahead and insert the hook into that one. Yarn over, pull that through, and then pull it through that slip knot, that loop that was the slip knot, to attach. Okay, so we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And that will count as a double crochet. So now what you want to do is we're going to do double crochet into the next one. And a double crochet into the next one. And then the next one here, that is going to have two double crochets with a chain one in between the double crochets. So let me show you how that's going to work. So all into this next stitch, go ahead and do a double crochet. Chain one. And then a double crochet right back into that same space that same one. Now that was a chain one. If we were doing the larger one that I showed you, we would have done a chain two here. So that's the top here. This is a chain two in the larger one, but this is a chain one space. Okay, and that chain one space happens to be right in the center. Remember there's seven double crochets here for the top of our flower petal. So that one in the middle, so basically there was three double crochets, the one in the middle gets the double crochet, chain one in a double crochet, and then the next three would have one double crochet. Okay, so now that we've done that, you're going to do a double crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three. That was three double crochets, one in each stitch. Right there. Okay, so you can see that was three double crochets, one in each stitch. This stitch had a double crochet, chain one, a double crochet, and then you did one double crochet into the next three stitches. So now we're at that point where we have that elongated stitch here. You skip that. You don't do any stitches into that. We skip right over that. You don't work into that. And then you do a double crochet into the next single crochet here. And then a double crochet into the next two stitches. Okay, and this is going to be that center one. So you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet right back into that same stitch. And then one double crochet into the next three stitches. Okay, and then there's that elongated stitch again. We don't work into that one. We skip right over it and then find the next single crochet right next to it and you begin your work there. So we're going to do a double crochet, one double crochet into the next three stitches. It's just a second one. There's the third stitch. All right, so this next stitch is going to have one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet right back into that same stitch. Okay, so now the next three stitches will have one double crochet each. So one, one double crochet, one double crochet. Okay, we're going to skip right over that elongated stitch once again. Find your next single crochet next to it. Here it is double crochet, next stitch, double crochet, next stitch, one double crochet. So now that we did double crochets in the three spots there, this is the peak of the flower at the top. So now you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet right back into that same stitch. So that stitch has the double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So essentially it has two double crochets into the same stitch with a chain one space in between.
Okay, so now we're going to work our way down one double crochet into the next three stitches. Alright. Skipping right over that elongated stitch there. Find your next single crochet right there. It's one double crochet. One. And then one double crochet into the next one. Okay, so now we're at that point where we do the two double crochets and the chain one in between. So that's double crochet, chain one, and double crochet right back into that same stitch. Okay, and then one double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and that's the third stitch. We're going to skip right over that elongated stitch there again. And then find your next single crochet and start there. Do one double crochet into each stitch. That's one double crochet into the next three stitches there. All right, so we're at the top here. So now you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet right back into the same stitch and then one double crochet into the next three stitches it's one two three all right so now we just join with a slip stitch to the top of that chain three and that completes our final round of our African flower how pretty is that so you can just make lots and lots of these to make a beautiful afghan um, as large as you want and you can do a combination of colors, sky's the limit, so you can just come up with so many different options. So let me go ahead and cut a tail here and then I'm going to pull that through, give it a tug to fasten off and then all I need to do now is weave in the tails of the flower and you can see that um, you know you can do several of the same pattern over and over again. So we'd have several of these, and I'd have you know several like this, and just do you know several of these ones. Or if I decide to add some other colors, I may do that. If I decide to go with some purple, maybe I'll do some with some pink. I mean, maybe I'll also do some with some yellow petals. So I might have ones with pink, green, yellow, purple. And I think that would be just adorable. So I might actually do that. So let me go ahead and weave in the tail. So all you need to do is just get your little plastic darning needle. Oh, that one's fraying on me. Let me try that again. You just want to weave in your tails to hide them. Cut that one right there. And then you can turn these ones over and here's the green one in the center. And the way I like to do those is just kind of hide them underneath those stitches right there in the back. Just pull it right through and then cut that one. Okay, so I'm going to finish weaving in my tails, and when I'm done, this is what it will look like. So I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I hope that you will subscribe, and I want to thank you for watching today. Thank you. Bye-bye.